Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Earth Today Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be checking in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you have Aries placements in your chart, this message could be for you. If you are a cross watcher, you're also very welcome here. Just remember to switch and flip the energy to not force any messages that do not resonate. What is the message for the Aries collective spirit? What does Aries need to know? So I'm picking up the world energy here. Personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. You may be dealing with a water sign or someone that you had a lot of feelings and emotions for. There's an ending coming. There's an ending that's coming towards you in regards to a conflict. In, uh, I feel that conflict can be internal as well as within a connection. So a personal issue reaches resolution. So like I said, from the major arcana of the energy of the world, finished cycles here is what I feel. So I'm going to use the good tarot now to um, confirm this energy. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please confirm this message for the Aries collective. What does Aries need to know? Thanks so much for watching my videos, your likes, your comments, your shares, your favorites, your donations to my channel. It all means so much to me. Um, I have personals available if you're interested and we'll leave that information for you. So please clarify this message for Aries. So we had Queen of Air come out in the reverse. So it's an energy of someone that's being deceptive, someone not being honest. So Queen of Air, that represents the Queen of Swords, which is Aquarius energy. Anything else, spirit. These are huge, but beautiful artistry. And then we've got the Five of Earth. A feeling of lack, an energy of lack. Five of pentacles, five of earth to so the queen of swords. Someone is being um, deceptive in regards to information. There's an energy of feeling like you're not, there's an energy of something that's not feeling um, that are, okay, sorry. I don't feel like this is your energy. There's an energy of someone that is not being honest in regards to how they feel in a situation. I feel this person that's connecting to you at this time feels like they're not good enough with this five of pentacles energy. That's the earth energy of feeling lack, all right? Feeling like feeling like a victim, right? So someone isn't really clearly communicating that issue or that energy to you at this time. A personal issue reaches resolution. So that is what's connecting to you at this time. There's an energy of someone that is not being truthful or honest about how they feel. They, they feel like they're not good enough in some way or regard. Flip it, switch, it could be your energy too. But I'm not feeling like this is Aries energy. I feel it could be the energy of the person that's attaching to you. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please give me clarification on this energy and who owns it. Give me some more information in regards to this. Thank you. Anything else? Someone feels like they, they don't have enough to offer you. Someone feels like um, abundance in the reverse. And then lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So there's an energy of someone me making some type of a conclusion or a decision, deciding to um, take a different path away from something where there is the energy of lack not wanting to take the direction of lack energy because it's low vibration. So coming to realization, I do feel that your energy Aries at this time, you're wanting to take a different path away from an energy where someone feels like they're not good enough. Even though I don't think that's the case, I don't feel that's how you see this person, but that's the energy of the person that's connecting to you and they're not being honest about that. A personal issue reaches resolution. I think that there was a situation or something that came to light that allowed you to make a decision to to move away from this energy, this five of pentacles or five of earth. So I'm gonna clarify that now with the tarot. I wanna use my old OG deck here. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify this spread for the Aries collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus. There's an energy of ending here with 10 of pentacles. Something did not turn out the way that you had hoped however this person is waiting on some type of information page of swords energy so there's an energy of someone that's very stuck in their head feeling like they're not financially able to um keep up with you i feel with this energy here that's the cards 
Ten of Pentacles to the Justice. Someone's feeling really bad about themselves. Clarify the Queen. Yet yeah, someone is, is not offering love at this time because they don't feel like they're good enough. Four of Cups energy, that's Cancer energy. Someone is lying about feeling like they're an option. They're not being honest about that. Bottom of the deck energy. Eight of Swords, again, an energy of someone being very stuck in their head is what I'm picking up here. Like I said, I feel this could be a cross watchers reading here with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords represents um, a, or Gemini energy and then Four of Cups, like I said, was Cancer. And the Four of Cups is clarifying the Queen of Air. Yeah, there's really a sad energy here with this Four of Cups to the Queen of Air. Someone's really sad that's attached to you at this time. And I feel that that's a very much a part of their own, um, own self-worth, their own value. It's very unfortunate energy here. It's very heavy. I'm going to clarify now the Five of Pentacles. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Pentacles energy. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles. Someone feels there's an imbalance. There's an imbalance of finance. There's an imbalance of stability. There's an imbalance of give and take is bottom of the deck energy. And then clarifying the five of pentacles. There's an energy of letting go, an energy of letting go of heartbreak, letting go of feeling a place of lack and investing in, in your own personal wish fulfillment. So I feel you're letting go of this energy of, of being in lack, Aries. So if this isn't another person, maybe you are self-sabotaging yourself with this queen of air to the five of earth because you are letting go, letting go of a heartbreak situation and then moving towards nine of pentacles energy, which is personal wish fulfillment. It's about stability. It's about financial success. It's about prosperity, right? The nine of pentacles. That's a really good energy. So it could be passed to the future, right? You're letting go of, of a feeling of lack or someone that made you feel lack, someone that made you feel like an option, someone that is not feeling um like they were good enough or possibly you didn't feel like you were good enough in the past, but you're releasing that now you're letting it go and you are building towards your own personal self value and worth. Right. That's what I feel there. Spirit, please give me some more energy for Aries in regards to this situation. It says soulmates and single. <laughs> so that's kind of a little bit ironic. But possibly being alone will bring you towards the, towards your soulmate, right? Or possibly um, you're not able to bring in your soulmate because you're coming from a place of lack, not feeling your own personal value and worth, okay? So possibly you need to be alone. Maybe you need to continue to heal and work on yourself in order for your soulmate to come in. Anything else, Spirit? So releasing conflict, I feel that you are walking away from low vibration. It says magnifying glass, showing proof, validation, confirmation, finding the truth, walking in your own truth. You're not chasing anything or anyone releasing conflict. You're trusting Aries. You're trusting and you're very, being very patient in the situation. The, the proof is in the pudding, I feel, with this showing proof, validation, magnifying glass. And if you look at the magnifying glass, it says, I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay, so love shouldn't be conflicted. Love should not be something that you have to be chasing after Aries is what I feel. So there's an energy of you now working on your own value and prosperity and, and self-care. And in doing that, it's and enjoying your moment and enjoying being signal. Or, or at least detached from your happiness being um, put on someone else, you're going to be able to find love in an effortless way right? Your happiness cannot be dependent upon the love of others, I feel inclined to say to you, okay? Let me know if this resonates with you, Aries. I appreciate you, each and every one of you. It's time for you to um, invest in self. Beautiful energy here. Take care. Bye.